welcome to episode two of To the Moon. If you haven't watched the first episode, go back right now. Watch it. Do it. I'll wait. Did you do it? Sure? Okay, once you're caught up, uh, we'll start right here. Enjoy. Now this is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is this about unusually high, dangerous places that attract people? Oh, here they are. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw it as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. Do you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress, because I've been doing it my whole life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it, because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be... normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast, and refused to learn to step against it. 
I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize it's not too late. The Isabel that, the Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. There's a backpack. The world would be easier on the eyes of... <laughs> the world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. So all these silhouettes are here because Johnny doesn't remember seeing these people in the background. He just knew that there were people here. Which is pretty interesting to think about. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. <laughs> I think I'm going to get this one. Oof. I am not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? that so this must be the last one but what about David's he's like my favorite character uh, I don't know what are you talking about animorphs have you read it no yeah really sort of oh oh do you know what animals is do you know do you know what animal was David's main morph? Um Okay, so I had to look this up because I have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, a cobra. I really wish they would kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. They were cool. No, oh, everybody's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go and save your childish jabs for the insecure. Oh, there's some olives. I see Le Fromage. But where's the mouse? That is the corniest remark that you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Nope. 
perhaps after their wedding. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why, do you? To actually... Yeah, I think so. And what's it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry. Just follow my steps. <laughs> Ow! My ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on. Let's try again. Danced all night. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Wedding. Uh, yeah. What did you think it was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Well, that's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take a moment by moment? Oh, I better go and see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Maud, tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls, my, calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? 
Because I'd rather you call me John. Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those, anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. I hear something. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait. Is that... a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. You know, it's a fantastic... <laughs> you know it's a fantastic wedding when the memento's a roadkill. Hey! Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for a terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, uh, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Poor bunny. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't look me like that. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Oh, horse. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah. Wasting time, Neil. Ah, oh, crap! That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! This was not in the job description. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! River! <laughs> What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Yeah! <laughs> this is about 19% more than I can handle! What a moron. Better go save his bum. something over here
Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is rather a late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This is one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other legal affiliation? Yes, I see. Well, I could get you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. Did it help you understand her condition? I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like somebody took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything else that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Stop right up there. Thank you. Huh? And I guess that explains the one in the house. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Oh man, we're going real far back now. Psst, look. I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theaters. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Holy overcooked macaroni. The kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my tastes. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. That's not even a full sentence. Now let's just look for mementos. Let's get rid of all these, I guess. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, it's not like it's permanent. You know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? 
Then why complain? Getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Oh, look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. No. Oh. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I'll have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. Oh, there she is. River? <laughs> you were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? And what difference does it make? You were watching the same movie in the same room. What's wrong? <laughs> You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Oh, there's that platypus. Ta-da! You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey! Come on, dude, grow some balls! Uh, it's not like that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will ever know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells somebody? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. Or, or she says, yes, but really means no. Pfft, quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if the, she, like, throws the encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine. Quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell. Everything will be all right. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you... Shh! Uh, ahem. Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. 
Then why didn't you... <sighs> Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About platypus? No. Oh, I, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> hey, do you want us lighthouses? Oh, say that ten times fast. There are exactly 16 second order Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say... You want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, uh, how about this Saturday at 8? Well, Eva, I think the system froze. Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just. Baseball. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You, of all people, should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Oh, wait, platypus first. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. Nah, not really. Never mind. <laughs> what the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been like, Hey, you, go out, me, you, now. That's just terrible. I know, and it still would have been better than what you just did. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Anyone? Anyone at all? Alright, then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. Rote.
Psst, she's coming this way. Alt tab, alt tab! <laughs> Remember those days? That's a wrap. You chumps better be um, better next time. An atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck. That's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. <laughs> anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change her own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know what she wants? Do you... Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait. So, this guy's some kind of human-hogging hipster? That's sort of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. Now I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move the pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. It's 
just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left a big scar on his mind as it did on mine. Should I even... No need, I'm all good now. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Hame! <laughs> hey! Not cool, Eva. You never block someone in the metal of a Kamehameha. What? Stay, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Ugh. What if he was a girl? Would she still have nicknamed him after his grandpa? be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. Joey, Jewy, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ugh. Jealous? Oh, yes. Yeah, so jealous. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. There's the olives. Oh, blah. Not again. Holy crap! My mind's totally blown! You're pretty easily impressed. Smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another year and a half. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Act 
too. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. That's going to be it for episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed, and part three should be up real soon, so keep an eye out for it. If you did, press that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next adventure. Later, guys.